hello everyone welcome to the engineering projects youtube channel in this video tutorial i will guide you how you can insert the data into your excel file by using the oledb method if you are not familiar with this code then you have to watch my previous video tutorial which is how to get and extract the data from data grid view so you just have to change some little thing in the previous code the connection remains same and the command remains same too but here here first you have to write the connection then you have write the command and the little changings are in the command you have to write nothing okay let's create once again the code the connection remains same then you have to write system dot data dot o l e d b dot o l e d b command here is that and write as my command is equal new system dot command and here we have done now you have to uh, take a string for passing the query string sql is equal null then create a connection my connection my connection is equal new system dot data data dot oledb dot oledb connection in this you have to write the provider is equal micro soft dot jet dot oledb dot four dot o and semicolon then data source uh, is equal in single quotation the path of the file which you want to insert the data which is as tep and tep dot xls the excel file then after semicolon you have to write extended proper properties is equal excel 8.0 and you have done now now you have to open the connection as my connection dot open now write as my command dot connection is equal my connection now in write the sql query which is insert into sheet one dollar sign and the columns are id and name and the values are values are the id is 1 and name is something and you have create this sql query now pass it as my command dot command text is equal sql and my command dot execute non query and now close the uh, connection my connection dot close now first preview the excel file the first name is junaid now i am going to insert a value where id is 1 now execute it ok it's 
getting execute and successfully executed now see here the id is one and the name is something by this you can add multiple ID, uh, multiple values in the column and row as you want it so i hope this video tutorial is informative for you if you have any kind of question you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe our channel take care